everybody and welcome back, my beaver babies. That's right, I didn't forget you. I didn't forget you this time. <laughs> no, no, no. We are playing Jurassic World the game. Oh, happy day. Hasn't it been a long time? It, it's been, it's been such a long time. Since you've seen that intro, isn't it? That yes. Yes, we are back in the game. I, there's some things I wanted to address. Actually, hold on. I need to turn on the other computer. There we go. Turn that on because I, I need to look at something. Because apparently, um, I have a I have a guy. <laughs> there's a there's a guy on my trust called the Live Alliance, and he's been having issues with this game. Ooh, Dilophosaur Gen 2 tournament. Wait, what? Do I have Dilophosaur Gen 2? Oh, there's a, there's a couple of things I don't have. Guys, we've won a pack. Oh, sweet. Okay. In the lottery, you always need to enter it. If it's a VIP and you have a chance of getting a pack. Because 200 VIP points for a pack is really good. I was going to say, we might have more than one pack, but I think that just says one. It looks like it says one. Uh, okay, so we've got five of that, which is, you know, who really cares? Two of that, which, yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Two of this. Whoa, two Archelons tournament. Have we won the Archelon pack? Hold on. Oh, a Plesiosaur. Oh, wait. Is that VIP? That's a tournament. That's a tournament creature. Oh my god, we won a tournament creature. Okay, that is really freaking good. Uh, 500 free bucks right off the bat. And there it is. Plesiosaur and, of course, the VIP points, which are going to be loads. Oh my god. <laughs> so you can only enter 10 times. So I got... I'm 600 up. From that but again like i said that's like really rare that you get great prizes on this uh, i think it's about 200 it might be if it's only 150 that was really worth it but i think it was probably 200 for that pack so not too bad also i forgot to collect me present apparently uh so what is it i get um another instant fusion slot which uh, i'm not really too fussed about and a vip pass which gives us another 500 and some terrible decorations that i'm never going to use uh but i Wow, I feel like I should have been logging into this game a lot more. I've gotten a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we're starting the process now when it comes to VIP of just getting like rubbish, basically. The only thing you really need is the instant hatching. That's the only thing that anybody wants because when you unlock a tournament creature, three, was it like a thousand and odd bucks to, to hatch it instantly? No, nobody wants that. Um, yes. So, hold on, I will get this up. When I first played this game, you, you would unlock dinosaurs as you went. It was kind of just the way things happened. Uh, however, uh, people who are playing this game now um, are not unlocking dinosaurs the way I did back, back in the day. So now unlocking certain creatures is almost nigh on impossible because they don't appear in the Battle Stage Infinite, which is um, this thing. And they also, you know, the, the stage is going up. And they also, uh, there's no way of unlocking them because I think the way you normally go is in the game, you go through and then whatever, buy with DNA. Um, and that's just how it went. You got to a certain level, you would unlock the dinosaurs. No, that has actually changed, I think, if this is true. So the way that you unlock dinosaurs now is through battle events. So every so often, if we were to click on battles, you'll get to unlock a dinosaur like this, the Earth Shattering. So you will unlock Spinosaurus. Once you, un once you get this pack, you unlock Spinosaurus. So that that is completely different to how I uh, played the game and completely different to what I thought the game was still like. That's something that completely flew under my nose. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem with this if it's done right. Um, now, the thing is, these tournaments or these uh, events have just been repeating the same over and over and over, not mixing it up. Now, they're putting in new dinosaurs, they're putting in new tournament, uh, you know, like Dilophosaur Gen 2 and uh, hybrids, but they're not paying attention to the normal game. So for me, who's already unlocked everything, I don't see a difference. But uh, I have somebody in my, like I said, my Dressable Alive lines, I think it is, uh, who has been telling me for a long time, and I do apologize uh, because I have been meaning to bring this up, but I complete, completely forget it. And they are max level 99, the same as me. And they still do not have a Pyroraptor level one because they played this game after this fix happened. Um, so, I mean, you might be thinking, oh, well, maybe it's just a really rare creature. No, let's have a look. What, in fact, is a Pyroraptor? If you remember, because you probably won't, it's a rare. 
Pyraptor's a rare. And I don't even actually have it out at the moment. So hey, hey well, there, there we go. Let's get it out. Uh, of course. Oh, I've got all the evolutions to collect. Oh, I'll take that. Num, 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 num. Um, so Pyraptor. And Pyraptor, I think... Oh, it's all... Oh, it's all ready. Uh, bring it out for two seconds and he's already not happy. <laughs> uh, Pyraptor, I think, is a dinosaur that you need to make Carnoraptor. And you need Carnoraptor in order to get the new super hybrid. So you see what's stopping you getting one of these rare dinosaurs does to you late game. You can't get one of the best hybrids. And Carnoraptor is friggin' amazing. Now, I don't know whether they've deliberately chose not to... Oh, God, oops. Uh, they've deliberately chose not to put Car uh, Pyraptor in the game because Carnoraptor is so good. Therefore, the people that have got it, it's kind of like, oh, well, you earned it. And then new people can't get it, which seems so bizarre to me. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I made mistakes. Ah, oh, well, who cares? I got 70 plus the 8. That's all I wanted, really. Um, so, Conoraptor, if we fuse, which we, we can activate, but I don't really want to. Uh, do If I just regularly activate it? I think I need to click start, yeah. So there you go. You need a Carnotaurus and a Pyraptor to make Carnoraptor. Um, also, we've got we've got another another one of these apparently. There's loads of them about today. But it doesn't just end there with Carnoraptor, or should I say Pyroraptor, uh, out of the list of dinosaurs that aren't being circulated at the moment. Now I I understand when it comes to tournament creatures, because tournaments only happen like what maybe once a week maybe once every two weeks something like that um and i can understand because there's so many tournament creatures that are out there that it will take a long time for you to get a certain creature a tournament creature that you've missed like i thought the the the, bleh, the dilophosaurus gen 2 uh which apparently is now you can get again uh i thought i was gonna have to wait like ages for that but apparently not that that's cycling back again but simple dinosaurs like Pyraptor. And if I take a look at this, these are the list of dinosaurs that this guy does not have. Pyraptor. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What are these dinosaurs? Are they high levels? Are they not? So Pyraptor. Tyranotitan, which is there. That's a rare. Uh, Prion Suchus, which I think is a, a legendary, I think Prion Suchus is. Uh, yeah, Prion Suchus is a legendary. Uh, Dimetrodon, which I know is a legendary. Shunosaurus, which is a legendary. But Dimetrodon? Dimetrodon was in there from the start. Uh, Ragosaurus, which is, uh, you know, it's a rare, sorry, super rare, but it's again in there from the start. Uh, Matri Me oh, Metriorancus, which I think is the... Wait, Metriorancus? I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming that it's probably... Oh, there it is, the Metriorancus. Yes, it is the crocodile kind of looking thing. Uh, the Superosaurus, which is a super rare herbivore. The Sukumimus, which again has been there since the start. And the Sarcosuchus, again, been there since the start. There it is, Sarcosuchus. So, this guy's missing out. I mean, Sarcosuchus is needed to make a hybrid. Um, Rajasaurus is needed to make a hybrid, as in Rajastega. Um, Dimetrodon, again, is needed to make a hybrid. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of recipes that aren't being able to get in the game for no reason. For no reason. They're just not cycling them. Uh, so I wanted to make this video in particular, or I was going to address it in the next Jurassic World, uh, the game video. Because this can't keep going on. And I had, like I said, I've unlocked these creatures. I had no idea that these things... Oh, is this... Wait, hold on. Don't go to. No, 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 no. I think that means actually if they've got an exclamation mark, I can collect from them. No? It just means they can be hybridized. Okay, okay. So we'll collect a pack as well. Um, so I, like I said, I unlocked all the creatures. I had no idea this was happening. No idea whatsoever. Um, but hoping now that maybe, you know, if uh, Ludio are watching, this gets addressed. Never mind the hundred pound packs that you have in the game, which is probably like, if it's a hundred dollars, I guess Americans, you get more money. You get more for your your book, bang for your book, as you'd say. But um, it's not worth it. It's still not worth it. I'd rather spend £100 on Warhammer, if I've got to be honest. I would rather spend £100... Oh, God, they're stuck together. On something like this. You can't really see it because it's green screen. There you go. I'd rather spend £100 on something that looks like that. A physical thing. And this only costs, what? Not a fraction 
of it. And I paint it, and it's fun. I like it. Same with this little thing. He's also green, so you probably can't see him. <laughs> I, I will have something like that until I get rid of it, or it breaks, or something happens to it. But this game, spending £100 in this game, we've already seen with Jurassic Park Builder what spending money in the game gets you. Nothing. You don't get credit to move on to another game. Uh, you, oh, sorry, you do get credit if you haven't played their other games. Probably hundreds, probably thousands of pounds, because at one point, they put in new dinosaurs. Hold on, we'll, we'll do something while I'm yabbering on. I, I spent a lot of money in Jurassic Park Builder when they put out new dinosaurs in packs, because I thought there was no way of you regularly unlocking those dinosaurs. Turns out you would eventually. Um, so I spent so much money opening pack after pack after pack. And I, I had the whole footage of me slowly going, ah, this is getting a bit, it is a bit stupid this, but I guess I'll spend another 20 quid. I'll, I'll spend another 20 quid to like, uh, to the point where I was like, I actually can't make this video because I can't put this in because I'm, I'm spending hundreds now because I have to, I have to have these creatures. Well, I don't have to have them, but I wanted to showcase them for you. And Ludia were not going to give me those creatures. I think I messaged, I was like, is there a way? But no response. Uh, now that I'm saying, you know, Ludia now is different to what it was back then. And I was a lot smaller. Uh, you know, I mean, YouTube, I, I'm sure they saw YouTube as like something that was just like, oh, YouTubers play the game, ah, whatever. <laughs> Give us more money, yes. Just a bit ridiculous uh, how, how, how this has happened. Um, you know, like I said, the hundred pound packs, it's not worth it. And you know, I, I've already spent loads of money in this game. Um, and I, like I said, like with Jurassic Park Builder, would not be surprised if, um, if all of a sudden, I don't know, this game stops being supported. Not, not all of a sudden, of course, that's not going to happen. But, you know, five years down the line, Jurassic World, the game sort of closes, I don't know. And it would be really good if we had some clarity from Ludia. But for them to say that we will never shut down this game is silly because it, it sets them up for a fall. They will eventually stop supporting this game. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I think I, I came to terms with Jurassic Park Builder. It was, it was not, it probably wasn't. I mean, we all had fond memories of Jurassic Park Builder, right? We all did. We all loved it. It was our first like, oh, there's a Jurassic Park game. Oh, this is so cool. Um, in a time when the last Jurassic Park game we ever had was Operation Genesis in 2003, I think it was. Maybe even 2001, a long time ago. Um, and now we have Jurassic Park Builder, which was something. It was something. Um, and I just feel like, you know, eventually the game had died and people had stopped playing and eventually it will happen in Jurassic World, the game. Sorry, I keep slipping off me mat here. I don't want to damage me carpet. No. <laughs> um, and eventually, We'll, we'll see the same happen to Jurassic World, the game. Uh, the I, I just got hung up on the £100 thing. I still can't believe it's a thing. Do you remember when this game first came out? And there was an article uh, uh, flying around about how a like a, a kid had got a hold of his parents' credit card information or whatever and had spent hundreds on the game. Um, they, they, they never like put down their prices or anything like that. They were like, oh, well, stupid parents. <laughs> well, I wonder if they if they refunded it. I wonder. I wonder if that happened. Because um, that would be that would be the good thing to do on their part, or if they can even do that, um, and say, look, we, you know, we, that would just it's good PR, right? Oh, we refunded them. I mean, you're probably getting plenty, and that's why we have packs that are so expensive because people pay for it. Uh, there are people out there who will, you know. Like, and this is, this is absolutely crazy to think about. We have kids, these, you know, kids for Christmas or birthdays say, I want a pack in Jurassic World, the game. Um, which, you know, it's completely up to them what they want, but like for a parent to be like a hundred pound for something in game. And you know, it, it, I'm sure some of them have paid for that. And, and like I said, nothing against them, but when I've seen what the game does and that it, it can be discontinued, um, it's like, you know, I mean, the same thing. You could put money into anything and it could break or disappear. But it's almost guaranteed that this is going to happen to this game. <laughs> so you're like, oh, you can, you can enjoy this expensive thing for a little period of time. And that's it. And then it'll, it'll disappear eventually. Um, but yeah, uh, why have I not been playing Jurassic World the game 
<gasps> you might be asking the question you've all been wanting the answer to, because I don't... Hold on. I'm curious. How long has it been since I have made Jurassic World the game was a whole month ago? And more than a month ago. Jesus, that's... I think that ever since I've started in 2015 making content on Jurassic World the game, that, I think, is the biggest gap ever I've done in Jurassic World the game. I mean, when I first started playing this game, I couldn't take gaps. I couldn't because then people would be like, in whatever video I, I put up, they'd be like, where's Jurassic World the game? <laughs> and in some cases I did, I did like to just wean them out. So I deliberately withhold Jurassic World the game content for a couple of days just to weed those guys out who would unsubscribe and be like, oh, I'm going to watch somebody else. Um, because I didn't want my channel to turn into just Jurassic World the game. Um, also, do we have it? Like, I'm wondering if these missions have changed. It's been a whole month. Has it changed? Has three aquatics, pet. Oh, yes. Oh, good. Pet 10 dinosaurs. I like that. Fuse two herbivores, um, 30 carnivores, and hatch four legendaries. Four freaking legend. Are you kidding me? Four legendaries? You can't do that. Um, in two days? Like, it takes a whole day to do one. Uh, okay, well, we'll get rid of them. Hold on. I'm, mm, mm. What did it want me to do? Hatch, um, hatch three aquatics. Okay, so let's put in aquatic. Let's put in aquatic. Um, I mean, I don't know what the fastest one is, but... Look, even then, it still takes 50 bucks to speed it up instantly. Can we get rid of that, Ludia? Get rid of just, even just a little bit that you take off us. Please just don't do that. So that's 11 hours. And if we put a legendary creature in, um, I mean, it doesn't really matter what it is. I guess it could be an aquatic, but I don't think it really makes much, much of a difference. But uh, hey-ho, let's put an aquatic. Uh, Chronosaurus. Uh, activate for 10. Three days! Why is that a mission? I'm sorry, but why is that a mission? Ludia, think! Oh no, hatch four! Freaking four! Four legendary creatures. Even if I put in four legendary creatures, it takes like four days to do it. And max is I get three days. So you're still asking me to spend books to trans... Sorry, we put in something that you can't do without spending books on it. <laughs> Did they do that deliberately? I don't know. Lord knows. Okay, but let's have a look at these because you might get some good trades in here. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll just take the DNA. I don't really need him. Uh, as long as I've got him unlocked, that's all I care about. Uh, nothing else there. Let's trade the decoration, shall we? John Hammond for loyalty points. Oh, good. That's still there. We're still getting good ones in there. So si since I started this, I think I've gained 20,000 VIP points um, from just doing the John Hammonds, I think. So 10, so I probably traded like 100 John Hammonds. And that's, you know, I've already spent VIP books on other things, I assume. Uh, so uh, do three trades. Uh, so let's spend 50 bucks, see if we get anything good, any books. Oh, Apache Cephalosaurus for 39, so we're still down a little bit. And then up 60, there we go, there we go. Got some books, that's good. Uh, and some more, ooh. 91 bucks for 217 DNA, you kidding me? That's something I would expect on the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what? Two million food for more VIP points. I'll take it. And um, what's this? VIP? No, I definitely don't need that. Okay, so let's see if we get anything good here. Uh, nope. Might as well get rid of that. Pagoda Garden. Get rid of it. Get rid of that rubbish. Um, oh, yeah, sure. I'll trade sticks of soul. If it means that I don't have to hatch it, I'm all for it. If I just get instant DNA for it, I'm fine. Uh, and I'm okay with that. Uh, no, I don't want to do that one. That one, definitely not. God. Um, there we go. 174 bucks. Oh, we're up. Oh, we're up. And because we can't do any more trades, I don't think. Um, and a John Hammond statue for some more DNA. And we are all, wow. So you get some really good trades. And tra like the trade harbor, we saw it go from absolutely unusable to now usable. Even if you're not a VIP, I think you can just refresh it and you do the John Hammond stuff. Or the, uh, you know, just have John Hammond statues and you may get some good trade for books. That's good. If you're VIP, you're guaranteed to get VIP points for trading for the John Hammond. Um, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to make this video just to showcase that. Um, the, I mean, the re like I said, the reason why I haven't played this game is, I don't think I even said it, is just because it doesn't feel like there's anything going on in it. Um, and... 
I, I, you know, I went through a phase you know, with my YouTube channel where I felt as though um, I, I was, I was just making content because I was, you know, people were expecting it to be up. They were expecting, oh well, you know, we're gonna get Jurassic World the game, we're gonna get a guaranteed Jurassic World Live, Hungry Shark, whatever like that. But more and more, I think I just realized that the reception for something that I'm genuinely interested in is there. Um, so that's why last week we had three aisle videos. Not because I was like, oh, the aisle do well, I'll make videos on that, but because I was enjoying it. And for whatever reason, editing them wasn't too bad. <laughs> I will admit, maybe one or two days was just solid editing. And maybe one day I stayed up until 6 a.m. to try and fix a rendering issue. Which I, you know, some things I do regret and wish I hadn't done and had, you know, that I don't like. But the majority of the time, recording, editing, I had loads of fun. And that is why, and I'm looking at it right there, um, why they, I made three of them. Um, and I, I would love to do a Sarkasukas in that game. But, oh, sorry, Dinosukas. But at the same time, I don't have that time. I don't have five hours and I'm not doing it again. I got so far and it got wiped and I'm not spending another five hours in the aisle testing at the moment uh, where I could what it could get wiped. When, you know, the aisle decides that, um, I know that I'm saying all this in a video to do a Jurassic World the game. <laughs> There's overlap, okay. Uh, when the aisle puts in the Dinosuchus and Trandon fully fixed into Irvima, then I'll play a Sarkasuchus. Then I'll do it. Um, but yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been ranting and uh, lots of updates, but I think Jurassic World the game has always been second fiddle to whatever's going on in my mind. <laughs> it's just kind of like, ah, we do what's in the game. Uh, shake the Earth. There's two Shake the Earth. That's quite interesting. Is that only, is that Glacier? No, it's not. Okay, interesting. So maybe, I, I think I will, I missed out on Dilophosaur Gen 2. So I will definitely do that one. They both end in six days, 22 hours. So in a week's time, maybe that's a guaranteed episode because I am I will just make sure every night I will just keep on going with that because I've got plenty of time to do it. So seven days a week is enough time. Uh, but yeah, and hopefully this is the first of two videos today because I want to do a Jurassic World Alive one as well. we got plenty to show you. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you, Beaver Babies, later. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>